today we have the 2018 Lincoln Continental Black Label. If you know anything about Lincoln, you know that the Black Label is the top of the line, fully loaded, luxury version of every model that Lincoln offers. It is kind of windy out here, so we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna jump right into the car. But first, take a look at the smart key access fob that you get, where you of course can pop the trunk, remote start the car, lock it, unlock it. No rocket science there. We have the start stop button located right there. And inside here, it's just, in my opinion at least, absolutely gorgeous. I love the blue leather all throughout the vehicle. We have blue leather all through the dashboard. And to break up the color of the interior and give it some contrast, we have silver trim here for the center stack as well as over here. Not talking about the speakers, although they sort of match as well. And then we also have it right here by the seat controls. But I want to get out on the road. Now, the Lincoln Continental comes in three different engine alternatives. It's a 3.7 liter V6, naturally aspirated, 305 horsepower. And then we have the 2.7 liter twin turbocharged V6 that produces 335 horsepower. Although this one has the three liter, also V6, twin turbocharged engine that produces 400 horsepower and just as much torque now the gear selector sits right here on the side of the 8 inch touchscreen which is pretty unique kind of cool in my opinion a lot of room in here and by the way the headliner is in blue Alcantara just absolutely gorgeous we have a full panoramic moonroof Now, one thing that we're going to talk about in the full review is these seats. These are 30 way power seats. And in my opinion, they are the best seats in the industry. They are extremely comfortable and I don't care what size you are. There is going to be a setting in these seats to make it comfortable for you. I promise you that. Now, before we take off, this is new for 2018 in the tech package. You have an excellent head up display that gives you all the information that you really need um, in the middle of course we have the speedometer to the left we have how many miles we have left in the tank and then we have time and temperature today is a beautiful day by the way 81 degrees in pittsburgh on february 20th that is very rare so it goes without saying i'm not complaining whatsoever now we also have these lines right above of the uh, speedometer that is for the lane keeping system and as we're driving here you'll see how they engage however if you're like me and don't like that system that can easily be disengaged by clicking this button right here you see that disappeared right there but by default when you start the engine the lane keeping system is on now since it is warm outside today I'm actually gonna turn on the cooled seats and has air conditioned seats three different settings I'm gonna keep it on the lowest setting because they do make a little noise there is a fan in the seats of course that cooled them down and I'm trying to get as good audio as possible here so currently we're doing some stop and go city driving and some critics will say that the transmission in the Continental is not as smooth as the competitions now this is a six speed automatic transmission and I actually prefer this that I mean this is a personal preference but I prefer a transmission like this where you can actually feel the shifts they're not rough in any way it just feels like a regular automatic transmission versus these new 10 speed automatic transmissions that yes they are smooth but they shift all the time and I, I feel like it just doesn't make sense. Great power in this three liter V6 with 400 horsepower. It definitely gets up and goes. Zero to 60 is in 5.4 seconds. Those are the official numbers. We're gonna push it a little harder here once we, we get out on the highway. Now it does have paddle shifters. 
on each side here of the steering wheel now i in my personal opinion i would advise you to yeah, pretty much just leave those alone because the shift times are too slow when you're using the manual mode however we do have a sport mode here which sharpens up the throttle response little quicker shifts and also stays in one gear for a longer period of time it'll let you rev a lot higher and as you might be able to tell that on each side of the head up display it actually gives you a tachometer so as soon as you get up in the revs it's showing you that on the head up display which is excellent what we also see is what we mentioned in the beginning of the video with the lane keeping system so as long as i use my turn signal the lane keeping system does not have to engage but if i were to uh, gear out of lane it would kick in and give me a vibration letting me know that dude stay in your lane so I'm gonna go over into this lane here without using my turn signal and you'll see it engage yep right there and it's actually torque steering me back into the lane that is a pretty cool feeling although it's just personal preference as I said I'm not really a big fan of it And it's a very quiet ride, very refined. I like the suspension, it's soft. Of course, this is a luxury sedan from Lincoln. It's not supposed to be this um, performance vehicle. But when I hit that speed right there, it was actually 98 uh, miles an hour. So, um, you know, sue me if you want to. <laughs> I honestly didn't think it was that fast. It didn't feel that fast. So. To me, that, that is a good sign of a luxury car where it just feels like you're floating on the road. But my God, these seats, they are amazing. They are so comfortable. I could probably sit and talk about these seats for the duration of this video, but you know, of course I'm not gonna do that, but wow, they are great. Cover them more in the full review. It's very interesting to me that the Lincoln Continental is not higher up in the ranks amongst its uh, competitors in the class, such as the Cadillac CT6, the Volvo S90, the Mercedes CLS, to name a few. I mean, it is a pretty competitive segment, but th this Lincoln is just so good. And I, I said it in my Navigator review as well that, you know, they do an excellent job of separating themselves from Ford. Now, if you don't know, uh, Lincoln is obviously part of the Ford Motor Company family. And the only thing that you could really relate to a Ford in this interior is basically this light switch right here. I mean, I used to sell Fords. If you follow my channel, you, you'll know this. So, I mean, I've been in most of the Fords that are out on the market today. And this is just such a difference. The ride quality is a huge difference. I mean, a Ford Taurus, for instance, can't even compete. They don't play in the same league. This is just wow. I love this Lincoln Continental. Now it is a big luxury sedan. So, I mean, handling wise, as I mentioned, the su suspension is very soft. It is a comfortable ride. Now there is some body roll, um, but again, this isn't a performance vehicle. It's, a, it's made to be a comfortable, classy luxury car. Otherwise, visibility is good in here as well. It's a big rear window. We have big side mirrors also. Now when you look back, also very good visibility. I mean, it's just a very nice car to drive. Now it also has a pretty sloping hood. So the visual effect of, of driving it, it, it feels like this vehicle is smaller than it is. So basically it helps with giving you a feel that it's an easy car to drive. It's not this big, you know, ship of a vehicle. Turn signal pops up in the head-up display as well. 
The reason why I'm talking about this head-up display so much is because I have it in my car and that is a 2018 uh, C63 and which has a great head-up display as well when it comes to the resolution but it doesn't give you as much information as this uh, Lincoln Continental does and I, I saw that in the Navigator as well this display is just excellent the Continental weighs around 4,700 pounds as well. So it is a pretty heavy set vehicle, which most of these large sedans in the class are. But uh, the three liter twin turbo V6 has enough power to sort of make you forget about that. It doesn't really feel as heavy as it is. Now fuel economy in the Continental with the three liter is said to be 26 on the highway and 17 around the city. Now I can always vouch for the highway uh, mileage on these EcoBoost engines. It's a little tougher to reach that 17 in the city number, although it seems pretty realistic. But just from experience, these uh, EcoBoost engines, they are pretty thirsty when they're in boost during our trip here and I've, I've been punching it pretty good it's gotten 14.4 miles per gallon now as i mentioned i'm doing a full review of this lincoln continental black label today so stick around for that where we go over everything about this amazing vehicle now in today's video it was mainly focused on what this car is like to drive and it is a pretty pleasant experience to say the least i hope you guys have enjoyed it in this pov format that you pretty much get a uh, feel of what it looks like and hopefully feels like from the driver's seat but let me know what you guys think if you have any additional questions leave them in the comments below and uh, please stick around for the full review and if you're watching this video and the review is already out i will be linking it up here somewhere in the corner so you can go straight to that video but thank you so much for uh, hanging out i haven't done that many povs lately i used to do a whole lot more of them and i enjoyed them a lot let me know if you uh, like this video format but that's going to do it for this driving portion of today's video i'll see you in the next one bye bye